Hi, I'm Frederick Sagerfeld. Welcome back to my channel about the black man's burden, where I challenge your views on colonialism, racism, and slavery. Last week, we talked about why Muhammad Ali was a bad choice of name for someone who wanted to protest against racism, uh, against blacks, and the enslavement of black Africans. Today, we're going to talk about white um, slavery. Have you ever thought of why you have to uh, say white uh, when, you, when, you say, when you want to talk about white slavery? Um, because if you close your eyes and, and think about the word slave, what comes to mind automatically is a black person. The norm in our views and our perceptions of the phenomenon is a slave being an African and, or a person of African descent. A white slave is the exception. A black slave is the norm in our views. That's weird because there have been plenty of white slaves in history. And one example is that more Europeans and Americans, whites, Christians, were enslaved in Africa than Africans were brought to the U.S. on the transatlantic slave trade. The fact is that 1.2 million Africans, uh, Americans and Europeans were enslaved in North Africa, um, compared to uh, about half a million uh, Africans being brought to the U.S. It was in Morocco and the city-states of, Al uh, of Algiers and, and Tripoli and, and along the coast, the Mediterranean coast of, of Africa. And they were treated as just like slaves were treated at the time. They were sold on the market. Um, they had to sleep in dirty and crowded places. And they worked hard in the fields. They were really treated really badly. One example is uh, the Sultan uh, uh, Mullah Ismail, um, who uh, ran Morocco in the end of the 17th and in the beginning of the 18th uh, centuries. He would have uh, his white slaves build into walls. Um, he would um, throw them off tall walls just for fun, or he would throw. Um, uh, he would feed uh, his slaves to hungry lions just for pleasure. Have you thought of the title and the lines in the official um, hymn of the U.S. Marine Corps? Uh, from the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. Um, and you, have you ever thought of what that means, what that refers to? Um, well, the line Tripoli, uh, the word Tripoli, refers to the Barbary Wars, which were two wars that the U.S. fought against the city-states um, in North Africa to make them stop enslaving uh, uh, Americans. And alongside the US at the time actually was Sweden. So Sweden fought a war in Africa to stop Swedes being um, enslaved. So did also Denmark uh, a couple of decades earlier. But the practice didn't stop until France invaded and colonized Algeria in the 1830s and 1840s. Slavery is not a white monopoly. The victims are not always black. Slavery is not and has not been only a Western thing. It has been practiced in most cultures throughout human history. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And next week, there's going to be another theme. Thank you and goodbye.